So let's summarize then the previous few videos. So we proved one, first of all, that when you put a rod in a region where there's a magnetic field, the potential difference across the ends of the rod because of the accumulation of charge on the ends and the fact that there's an electric field from one end to the other, we proved that the potential difference was BLV. And we also proved that the EMF uh, through this closed circuit for this closed loop if you use the rule that the EMF is d phi by dt at least thinking about the magnitude in this case then it's also BLV and if you get the EMF using this rule integration of V wire cross B dot ds around the closed loop you also get BLV so this we've proved this completely and from every point of view for this particular problem but we just want to reiterate that this just makes it plausible why this term can be written like this. We didn't prove it in general for any case, but the general case is maybe proven in a more advanced course. So you can, you can always prove that this is equal to this, but we're not going to do it in this course. We just proved it for the particular simple case of the rod moving on a rail, two rails. So if the magnetic field is constant in time and it's not changing and the wires are moving, this is the EMF. And you can also write it the way we wrote it before as minus d phi by dt. If you want to then get the current in the circuit, well, it's like any other problem from circuits. You, you have an EMF, source of EMF, which is the rod that's moving. You have a resistance. So there's, the current is just EMF over resistance. So it's BLV over R.